Okay, so we tested my favorite custom ROM on a Nothing Phone 1. If you guys are tired waiting for stable release of Nothing OS based on Android 14, instead of waiting, you must try out this custom ROM, which is based on Android 14. And in this video, we'll talk about stability, camera, performance, features and more. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my Nothing Phone 1, which is running on Android 14. And the custom ROM, what we have installed is Paranoid Android. If you go to about section here, you can see Android version as Android 14 which comes with 5th December 2023 security patch and here you can see paranoid android version is android 14. Right now this doesn't support OT update so you have to manually install it and for the installation process I'll leave the video guide in the description below. If you guys want you can install it using that guide. And guys before moving ahead we have come up with a new Hindi channel and our first video is live. If you guys want to watch Hindi content make sure to subscribe that channel. So we all know nothing phones are known for glyph light and developers of paranoid android have taken care of that. On this room we do have glyph interface which brings most of the features on this custom room. We have the feature of flip to glyph and that works perfectly fine. You can also control the brightness of glyph light call animations are there along with notification animations. Glyph light also have the support of battery level, reverse wireless charging, even the volume indicator. And developers have also added this disco light feature called music visualizer and this works perfectly fine if you play any song. But in this case if you enable music visualizer all other functionalities of glyph light will be turned off while using music visualizer. And I've tested this feature it works flawlessly and the syncing is too good. On paranoid android you also get to see nothing OS stock camera pre-installed. We did click few pictures with selfie there were no issues in the dynamic range skin tone was good and we got perfect selfies with the front camera even in the harsh sunlight. No issues in the colors also while taking pictures with the rear camera. The camera performance is exactly same what you get to see on nothing stock OS. There's one bug with the camera application so whenever you switch the camera to 0.66 the camera app crashes. So this is one bug what you guys will see with the camera application. And I personally like the experience of touch, animations, haptics which felt better on this custom ROM compared to nothing OS. Everything is smooth enough not even a single time I noticed jitters. By default paranoid team have added this link to windows feature and using this you can access all the notification calls, messages and other activities on your PC just by signing using your Microsoft account and it's a very useful feature. And a wallpapers and style section you get every feature like clock styles which we have seen on pixel smartphones running stock android you do have the ability to change clock colors and size and as per your requirement you can set them the wallpapers and style section is exactly same what we get to see on stock android material you theming part works perfectly fine you can see the icon colors soon you change the wallpaper they adapt to the wallpaper color you have some customizations where you can change the system icon packs there are total seven icon packs which are pre-installed and you can anytime use them. Also we have some font options pre-installed like Hyper OS Sans, Inter and Google Sans. And all the clock styles which are present on this custom room also works on the AOD. One thing which I like about the Paranoid Android, you have a dedicated application to get wallpapers. And there are a lot of wallpapers like Vibrance, Peak, Void, even the OnePlus wallpapers are present here. Paranoid do have the support like gestures, which includes quickly open camera, lift to check the phone, tap to check the phone, swipe to take screenshot, etc. And all of them works fine. On most of the custom rooms, we do have issues related to wideband security level and it's the same story on Paranoid Android also, where the security level will be L3, so you won't be able to enjoy full HD content on OTT platforms. But one good thing is, until and unless you don't root your device, the safety net check won't have any kind of issues. I have used Google Pay, Cred and other payment applications and all of them did their job. We also tested the performance of the device running this custom ROM. Using Geekbench application, single core had scored 1080 with multi-core scores were 3106. With CPU throttling test, maximum CPU throttle up to 67% we performed the test with 100 thread up to 30 minutes and we also tested out BGMI with no issues 60 FPS runs pretty smooth on this custom room I had not seen any kind of frame drop while gaming even the temperature did not go much higher with one TDM maximum temperature which I noticed was around 34 degrees Celsius as said there were no frame drops to be seen the gameplay was super smooth in 60 FPS also the RAM management on this device is pretty good I did notice a lot of applications which were kept in the background did open from the same page where we closed them battery backup is also decent I did check the first cycle only I did not get time to check out the second cycle but with always on display turned on I got around three hours of SOT in which we did perform some testing and all that's the reason SOT was a bit low but with the normal usage 
I'm sure I'll get an SOT between five to six hours. So guys, this is a great custom ROM to be used as daily driver. As said, you can watch the video given in the description below for the installation process. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.